If I could give just one tip about chess in my life, the tip would be tactics. Play and study tactics every day. Tactics are the foundation of the chess game and it's the best way to improve. No matter how many openings you study, now, no matter how many lines you memorize and variations you memorize, tactics is always what's going to win games the most. So whether you are a beginner, intermediate, advanced, grandmaster, it doesn't matter. If you are good at chess, you're basically good at tactics. You have to be good at tactics. To be good at chess, there is no way around. And from now on, I'm going to be posting some videos on chess tactics where we'll be solving some chess problems together, very basic ones from, uh, from the start, and then we can make them harder as we go. The name of this series it will be 99% Tactics. Okay, so let's get ready to it. Today, we're gonna solve five chess tactics problems. And the first one is on the board. I've been uh, talking and the, the, the chess problem is already here. So if you already solved it, good for you. You can pause the video and try to solve it. It's white to play and <coughs> win material here. So this is a very basic chess problem. If you stop and try to solve it, it's gonna be easier. This uh, tactical uh, motif is called a skewer. So we always have to look for tactical motifs. And you're gonna be really good at chess if you start learning those patterns and start to recognize those patterns as you play. So this pattern, this motif is very, very common and it's called the skewer, where we have two piece or X-ray. Some people call it X-ray. When you have two pieces lined up in a way that you can attack one of them that is a stronger piece, and then you have to move it away so the other one will be free to capture. We can always spot that when we have pieces that are lined up like this and you have an undefended piece like this one. This rook here is not defended, so we always have to keep our eyes open to that. Keep our eyes open to that. So the move here is uh, rook here to uh, g8, check. So the king will have to move. And as the king moves, we can safely capture this rook and we win a clean rook in this position. And we are certainly winning here. Our material is way, way superior. We're gonna win this game. This is how you win games, guys. Uh, practicing tactics because these kinds of things will show up in your games. And if you practice these motifs, if you learn and practice those motifs and, and standards and patterns a lot, you're gonna see them in your games. You're gonna recognize them in your games and you can win material and win games. Our second problem of today will be this one, guys. And it's also very easy. These five problems of today are simple. And it's why to play here, why to play and win material. So uh, it's a very interesting problem. You can try to uh, pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It's why to play. And uh, considering that you stopped and tried to solve the problem, the problem, uh, it's actually very simple here. And the motif behind this Problem is uh, forcing moves. We always have to look for forcing moves, uh, especially checks and captures uh, that are moves that your opponent will have to respond to immediately. They have no option. For example, you have some checks here. You can go ahead and check like this and lose your queen or maybe lose your queen. There are many ways to lose the queen there. You can check like here and lose your queen again. And you can check here and lose your, your queen. But you can go ahead and check here and then you're not going to lose your queen exactly because your opponent will have to take, they will have to answer to this threat because they are in check, they have no option, they have to respond. And as you play here and they capture your queen because they have to respond to that, you recapture with your pawn and you make a new queen. So you actually didn't lose the queen, you lose just a pawn and you are basically winning the game, they will have to move the king again and then you can go ahead and try to win this rook or maybe you can just go ahead and win the game. So basically this is the solution to this problem. We have to always look for forcing moves. This is how we find most of the tactics actually guys. So keep your eyes open for forcing moves, checks and captures especially. Now we have my favorite type, my favorite uh, uh, pattern, my favorite motif, which is the fork. That's the name of the channel, right? What the fork? So here we have a fork or double attack. It's white to play and win. Try to pause the video and solve white to play and win in this position. And if you pause the video and try to solve, you probably found the move. The winning move here is rook here, rook to d7. 
and we're going to be double attacking the king and the queen again when you have pieces that are lined up that's always something to be concerned these two pieces are lined up here and you can not only uh, play forks with your pawns or knights you can also fork with your rook because you can attack two pieces at the same time and this is like a double attack or fork we can consider that a double attack uh, some people call it double attack because this piece is defended the square is defended by the queen so you can go ahead and play this move this will be a forcing move again you should be looking for checks anyway so if you found this check you probably found the move by looking for forcing moves this was the motif of the previous uh, one so if they take here they just end up losing a queen for a rook so and now they are in check again so they have to think where to move not to lose this rook right here so it's a difficult decision for them and I, i'm so sorry for black here this position is completely lost and uh by the way this is the motif of the third uh problem of this video now let's go to the next one okay so this time we have the first problem where it's actually black to play and win so you can pause the video and try to find the solution it's a very simple problem again try to look for checks first and you're probably going to find the solution to this problem pause the video try to find the solution and the motif behind this um, problem here is trading pieces if you're winning in this position you're winning actually you have up material you're up material so you should try to look for ways to simplify the game and trade down material to a simple position where you can win easier and one way to do that here is to just try to trade queens because the queen is the strongest and the most uh, dangerous piece from white here the bishop is not so strong uh, so we can go ahead and try to force trades here so here again we have kind of a double attack fork we're attacking the king and the queen at the same time they have to respond to that if they move the queen uh, the king away we can simply go ahead we can uh, take the, the queen basically yeah we just win the game anyway so they're gonna lose the queen uh, no matter what if they go ahead and capture we can go ahead and capture it ourselves and we got rid of the strongest piece from white here now no matter what white does here we can even go ahead and sacrifice i recommend this a lot to players beginner players you're up like a lot of material here so you have two rooks your opponent has just one bishop in this case to prevent anything from happening you can just go ahead and sacrifice your rook for the bishop you're gonna still have one rook a full rook left you're gonna win this game no matter what so uh, if you just sacrifice here you're removing any counterplay from your opponent so that would be a good way to actually win the game so try to simplify try to look for uh, positions where it's going to be easier for you to win and that's how you convert winning positions you just trade down material and go to a simple position where you can actually win now let's go to the last final uh, problem that we'll have for today now this example guys will be a bit more difficult it's a bit harder to find the solution than the previous ones it's white to win white to play and uh, win a lot of material actually not a lot of material is going to win a piece here so it's white to play and win try to find the solution to this uh, problem so pause the video try to find the best move and uh, the motif behind this problem is uh actually removing the defender so there are multiple ways to look for here again we have to look for checks the king is very exposed so two things to keep in mind are uh exposure of the king here so uh when a piece is misplaced a queen or a king is misplaced in a position that that is not really nice or if you have like a knight and on the edge of the board uh or maybe a king in no, a very very exposed like this one or a queen that is misplaced you can try to exploit that and you should be looking for checks anyway so it's forcing moves and the move here is here it's pawn to g5 which is going to put this king in check king has no squares to go it cannot capture because it's protected by the bishop it cannot go anywhere it has to drop back and by dropping back it's actually removing the defender of this bishop so actually what we're doing here we are removing the defender and another thing to keep in mind in this position is that this bishop is actually an undefended piece when a piece is defended by the king it's actually undefended because the king is not a very good defender whenever you attack it it has to move 
or you, you should do something about it because it's checked. So it has to be um, addressed. So in this case, when we push the pawn here and check to the king, the king will have to move. There is no way. And by moving the king, we remove the only defender of this bishop, which is hanging here, and we can safely take it for free. And we are up a piece now. And this game is pretty much done. Uh, we can just trade the rooks here. And we are going to have a piece up. We can win this game if we want. We can keep one pair of rooks if we want to keep a little bit complex the position. But basically, this is how you win games too. You should be looking for misplaced pieces. Like this king was very misplaced, uh, very weak and vulnerable. You can look for checks like this one was a check. So you should be uh, you know, scanning for those uh, moves on the board. And undefended pieces like this bishop was not very well defended. Defended only by the king is not really good. So you should be keeping your eyes open to those motifs, those patterns, okay? So if you liked this video and if you learned some uh, patterns, some tactical patterns in this video, I'm going to be posting more of those videos in the future. So to keep uh, updated to the new videos, subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed. So consider liking the video and commenting down below. And as always, guys, I see you guys in the next video.